smartened up and put on my welding gloves to operate the uh, hand wheel. Nice. Well, for this job, I had to buy 22 feet of this stuff. This is 1 and 1 8, 40, 1 40. And the parts are 4 and 1 8 long. And I got a bunch of them to make. So while I've got the saw cut in the next piece, I'm taking care of this. Okay, in case you're wondering what we're doing, is we're making these uh, hoist pins. I'm not sure exactly where they go in this hoist, but the hoist that these people make, uh, they are huge. Their engineering department told me what kind of material to get. So that's what they're getting is 4140. So I got to turn this 1 and 1 8 diameter down to 1 inch 110 over here on this head. I got to turn this diameter down to 710 thousandths and then just uh, pop a hole in it. I don't know what size hole that is right now, but uh, yeah. Sorry for all the noise, everybody. Just about have every machine in the shop running today. Well, there we go, everybody. I got all 40 of them done. I actually had a pretty good pace going. Uh, as soon as one came off the bandsaw, I was able to finish it up. And as soon as I was finishing that up, uh, another one dropped off the bandsaw. So the production went pretty good. Well, the next thing I'm going to do, this is the last one. Before doing any more lathe work, I'm going to clean up this entire lathe and get all that rust and crap off the waves. I didn't know the material was going to be rusty when I bought it. Well, now it's decision time. All these are basically the same. And... I'm right at uh, 4.75 like I actually wanted based on that number right there. So I left myself a little uh, playing room because what I'm afraid of doing, I think I'm going to drill the hole next. I don't want to just subtract the 5 sixteenths and then drill the hole in a quarter inch because if I happen to center drill one or two of them a little bit deeper or something like that then I'm going to have a, a little hole in the bottom and their sample doesn't and I know the 5 sixteenths is the center hole and then I've got another uh, quarter inch to go and plus half the diameter of that drill uh, I don't know what that drill is yet but I think I'm going to bump it over probably a hundred thousandths just to be on the safe side in case one of these center holes is a little bit deeper than another because so I don't want to be left with any kind of hole in the bottom so I think that's what I'm going to do so I'm going to move over to the mill next well it took me a little while to get this, uh, this set up I was having to figure out how to make a stop for this thing but I eventually found out how I could do it. It's working out pretty good actually. So it's just a combination of center drilling and then drilling. Probably nothing y'all haven't done a million times before.
looking good. I've got it marked out over here exactly where I need to turn to. Well, over here I've got an indicator set up, so when the carriage strikes it, I've got 70 thousandths until I get to my little uh, carriage stop using the uh, cant twist clamp. And I'm going to stop short of my final dimension by 20 thousandths, so this way I could do a finish pass on it. The customer had told me this was 0.706. I just measured it with uh, the calipers and the micrometer and it's 0.712. So it's one of the reasons why I like to take my own measurements. So I'm going to start off with a, a new bit that has a, a decent radius up here. So I'm going to leave a, a little bit of a radius here. I'm going to see how this tool does. If it doesn't do well on Hagen, then I'm going to go back to the other tool because I know that one does well. So let's get started. Now this tool leaves an okay finish. While it left a decent finish, it was pulling a long stringy chip uh, about four to five feet long. This bit here was leaving me chips like this yesterday. So for hogging off 300 thousands here, uh, I'm going to go ahead and use that one. Well, I didn't get a whole lot of footage of uh, turning this, but this is the finished uh, size 712. I was dealing with a bunch of uh, chip problems, and I didn't feel like mucking around with the camera. But uh, there we go. There's one. 39. cut And I just pushed it into the chuck. It fell off the center. Great. Well, at ten thousandths per cut, there's no way I'm going to make my deadline. So this is a box of uh, high-speed steel that I got from a friend of mine. Well folks, desperate times call for desperate measures. I always run the lathe at 685 RPM, but this lathe will go faster. So for the first time ever, I'm turning metal at double that, at uh, 1270. Let's see it. Getting some fireworks down there by the turbine tip. Damn it. Always at the end. I still can't take any more than 10 thou. But now I'm turning twice as quick. Jeez. 
go get some pliers. Uh, I'll tell you, this job is going to be the end of me. pretty hard to catch notification before I hit my uh, carriage stop over here. So I think I'm going to increase that to a hundred thousandths. blood. It's going to happen again. 